Franklin rides his bicycle to the beach, averaging 18 miles per hour. He rides home along the same route. What speed must he average on the way home if he wants to average 21 miles per hour for the whole round trip? So in this problem, well, first we know that from his home to the beach, the first going there, he averages 18 miles per hour. And let's see, I'll just say his time going there is TG. T going. And then coming back, well, oh, oh, you want that, right? What speed should be average? I'm going to say X miles per hour and time B, or time coming back. And the whole distance for each home to beach is D. So, well, from home to beach is distance D, and from beach back home is also distance D. So and then we want what speed must be average, so we want x basically. So well if we want average twenty one miles per hour, that means what we'll, using the the regular speed times time equals this for this problem, well then we can divide by t so that if you want the average speed it's always distance divided by time. Well we can just plug in things here, right? Since so twenty one miles per hour for the average speed that we want equals the distance, which, well, home to beach, and then beach to home. Each distance is D, so that means we're going for distance of 2D, and then divided by the total time. I'll write T total, so that you know that that's the total time from home to beach and beach to home. But that's time going to the beach plus the time coming back to the beach. So TG plus... TB. And the reason we're doing this is now we can substitute even farther since well, we have some times which time is distance over speed using that. Well, oh, we can use the distance and the speed, right? Since 21 equals 2D over, okay, well, TG, first of all, distance, so that's just home to beach, right, like time go, say, right, time go, first of all, distance is just D, divided by, well, the speed, which is 18 miles per hour, going to the beach. And then we add on TB, which we can substitute in for the same reason, right, D, well, home to the beach and beach to the home, those are the same two distance, so we still have D over the speed coming back, which we know is x miles per hour. I'll just write x. And now what we see is, hey look, these d's, we can all cancel them, and now we went from having two variables, d, and uh, th the three variables, d, tg, and tb, into just one variable, and that, and that variable, x, happens to be the variable that we want, which is the speed that he must average on the way home if he wants to average 21 miles per hour for the round trip. So that means, well, this eventually goes so the d's cancel, so 2 times 1 is 2. Now remember, the d's don't go away completely. The d, oh, when they cancel, you still leave a 1 there. So really, the reason we're canceling the d's is not because we want to get rid of the fractions. It's because we want to actually cancel the d's so that there's no more d that we have to worry about. So we have 1 over 18 plus... 1 over x equals our average speed, which is 21. And then to solve for x, we can simply cross-multiply. And if you want, um, you can write over 1, which is just 2 times 1. So 21 times 1 over 18 plus 1 over x equals 2 times 1, or just simply 2. And expanding the left-hand side, 21 over 18 plus 21 over x equals 2. And well, here I can cancel a 3, which leaves us, with, uh, that leaves us with 7 over 6 plus 21 over x equals 2. So well, here, um, well, I can kind of, uh, 
I can attempt to isolate the variable, or at least work to isolating the variable, by subtracting the 7 over 6, or 7 6. And we'll just subtract this 2 minus 7 6. Well, 2 is 12 over 6, right? So 12 over 6 minus 7 over 6, or 12 minus 7, 5 over 6 equals 5 over 6. And now finally cross multiplying again. I'm just going to move over here so we have a little more space. Um, 5 times x, 5x equals 6 times 21. 6 times 21. And well, 6 times 20 is 120, plus 6 times 1, 6. So 126. Now finally, dividing by 5, um, I think some math students with really good co computation skills can do this in their mind, but I'm not one of them. I usually just do it with my hand. Don't bother memorizing all that stuff. Okay. 26, 5, 25, 1, 0, and 2 times 5 is 10, so that means we have our answer. X equals 25.2, and we can go ahead, drop in the miles per hour without hesitating since, well, here we know that, well, eight, well all the way back here, well, first of all, um, distance is in miles per hour, uh, is in uh, miles, and our speed is in miles per hour, so we have no trouble getting the answer, 25.2 miles per hour.